Read or listen to all of the headlines in one place. Excerpts from the Drone Life Drone News of the Week, September 9th. Click on the titles below for the full story. Zipline and e-commerce platform Jumia begin retail drone delivery in Africa. Africa led the world in medical drone delivery. Now, instant logistics leader Zipline announced a partnership with African e-commerce platform Jumia that will see the integration of Zipline's delivery system with Jumia's distribution network for the deployment of automated, on-demand delivery for e-commerce in Africa. Six new auto drones, new EVO 2V3 series. Aviation and aerospace company Autel Robotics will be announcing a range of new drones and related accessories at Electronics Trade Show IFA 2022. Autel's products to be revealed include the new Autel EVO 2V3 series, a live deck video streaming accessory, and two smart controllers for the new line of drones. American Robotics FAA Exemption Scout System may operate without limits. Ondas Holdings subsidiary American Robotics announced that it has been issued a new exemption by the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA. Officially granted on August 19, the exemption frees the company from a set of previously established conditions and limitations pertaining to an earlier exemption, which had limited operations to research and development, crew training, and market surveys. This new exemption, combined with an accompanying BVLOS waiver, enables American Robotics to deploy its autonomous scout system drone commercially with no limitations on use. High-rise window washing and more, Lucid spraying drones solve an age-old problem. Charlotte, North Carolina Lucid Drone Technologies employs custom-built unmanned aerial vehicles to wash the exteriors of buildings, replacing the need of having workers get to tether themselves onto suspended platforms to perform that dangerous job. Lucid CEO Andrew Osher said the founders of the company discovered Lucid's mission almost by accident. Teledyne Fleur's new drone, Cirrus trademark fills a gap in the industry. As commercial UAV Expo gets started in Las Vegas, Teledyne Fleur, part of Teledyne Technologies Inc. NYSE, TDY, today launched Cirrus trademark, a professional drone that includes a quick-connect dual radiometric thermal and visible camera payload. Cirrus fills a major gap in the industry right now, a professional drone with some of the best imaging available, from a major U.S. company with services and support, offered at a compelling price. Tony Drummond on Dawn of Drones, September 7, live from Commercial UAV Expo. Join Dawn and special guest Tony Drummond, partner at Prestige Air Group and founder-slash-CEO Global Aerial Management Group, GMG, our sponsor of the month as we kick off September and our Market Use Cases series on the Dawn of Drones podcast. The two will be live from the Commercial UAV Expo in fabulous Vegas. The ROI of Commercial Drone Programs, Skidio's Adam Bry at Commercial UAV Expo. At this morning's Commercial UAV Expo keynotes, Commercial UAV Expo editor Jeremiah Karpowitz and Skidio co-founder and CEO Adam Bry discussed how the concept of automation and reliability inform the ROI of commercial drones. Skidio's platform is known for their groundbreaking autonomy, and Bry says that autonomy is key to maximizing the ROI of commercial drones. We're at a place in the drone industry where people who are experts in drones have figured out to do all kinds of useful stuff, said Bry but you still need someone who is an expert to do that stuff. What does the FAA plan for drone regulations? From the keynotes at Commercial UIV Expo and the FAA backslash S surprise announcement. Commercial UIV Expo is hosting a record-breaking crowd in Las Vegas this year. At the first keynotes of the show this morning, a lineup of important industry figures gave attendees the insights they've been waiting for, including the FAA plan for drone regulation in the coming year. Lisa Elman, executive director of the Commercial Drone Alliance, explained that the CDA is working to encourage the administration of the U.S. to make it a government-wide policy to support U.S. leadership and competitiveness in the commercial drone industry. In a fireside chat with David H. Bolter, FAA Acting Associate Administrator for Aviation Safety, Elman asked Bolter to discuss how the FAA was working with the drone industry to move regulation forward. Dragonfly launches new products, two new aircraft, and long-range LiDAR, DroneLife interviews CEO Cameron Chell. 
at Commercial UAV Expo in Las Vegas, commercial drone company Dragonfly unveiled three new products, a long-range LiDAR system which can be used as a mobile LiDAR system on drones, manned aircraft, or mounted to another vehicle or backpack, a North American-made heavy-lift drone, and the smaller Swiss Army Knife Commander 3XL drone. In an interview, Dragonfly's CEO Cameron Chell says the new offerings reflect the current needs of their customers. Matternet M2 drone receives first FAA type certification for a non-military drone. Today, leading commercial drone delivery system developer Matternet announced that its Matternet M2 drone has been granted type certification by the Federal Aviation Administration FAA. The M2 is the first ever non-military unmanned aircraft to receive type certification in the US, providing Matternet with an edge in the drone delivery market. The completion of the FAA's thorough evaluation process showcases the M2's safety and reliability, a milestone for scaling U.S. commercial drone operations. Flyability funding, more than $22 million for makers of Ilias indoor inspection platform. Flyability funding got a major boost this week as the company celebrated a 15 million Swiss franc CHF, Series C funding round, augmenting their previous 7 million Swiss francs. 22 million Swiss francs is currently about $22,645,000 US dollars. The company's unique Ilias 3 collision safe platform for indoor inspection was on display this week on the floor of Commercial UAV Expo in Las Vegas. Pitch the press from the floor of Commercial UAV Expo, the three winners. It's always a favorite event, pitch the press at Commercial UAV Expo where new companies get only two minutes to impress a panel of journalists who choose the most innovative and interesting products. This year I was honored to be on a panel with a group of esteemed colleagues, Abe Peck of Inside Unmanned Systems, Gene Rowe from LiDAR News, and Jeff Thorison, Editor-in-Chief of XYHT. Seeing such a talented group of innovators is always exciting, and having the opportunity to connect with other drone media is always fun.